Hello everyone, this review is for the Breville one cup single wall filter part number SP0016051 uh, which is meant to be uh, working uh, for the uh, Breville Oracle um, uh, touch as well as the standard Oracle which is the one that I have. I purchased this machine uh, maybe a year or so before the touch came out so it is a recent uh, model and um, as you know of course the dual cup filter is what came with the machine um, and uh, what I realized pretty quickly is that uh, for, to make uh, single cup uh, coffees you basically waste uh, quite a bit of coffee uh, grinds so I always wanted to get a single cup and it wasn't available at first but this year uh, just recently this popped up on their website and so I contacted them to make sure that it would work with my uh, Oracle uh, particular serial number and they replied they said yes I ordered it and um, actually I received this uh, which as you can see it is not the same shape as was pictured on their website so uh, make a long story short this does not work uh, very well but uh, I want to run some experiments to see uh, I will contact them again and see if they ship in the wrong part uh, which they did refund me at this point by the way um, but um, I want to see if the machine can actually adjust for different amounts of coffee which again another question that I asked uh, specifically and they said that the machine would adjust the coffee amount that is being uh, ground uh, automatically um, so to do that I have a scale which I have um, calibrated here and we're gonna zero with the uh, with the coffee filter empty and basically I'll weigh this uh, grind the coffee and then I will make uh, I will switch to this filter grind again and see if the amount is in fact different indicating that at least the machine can adjust uh, for the, gr uh, the grind amount so this is zeroed out on ounces so we have more resolution here and here we go So 0.755 ounces units. Which is 21.3 grams, which I expected between 20 and 22 uh, grams of coffee. So I will uh, switch off for the um, this filter next time I make coffee and uh, we'll see how that is. The other experiment I want to run here is to actually measure how far down is being packed to see how much space there is left okay it looks to me like eight millimeters there from the top parameter that I want to point out is the fact that when I put this dual filter um, with the standard dual filter with the amount of coffee ground up in the machine I can tighten this up and the handle comes up pretty much uh, just a little bit past the center line of the machine so it's a little bit uh, twisted a little bit that way and that you know I've been using it that way for a couple of years so it, it works fine uh, one of the things that I found with this filter is that I could not get it this far and so one time it actually even came out during brewing so, okay so next step in this experiment is we're gonna try the single cup filter here so I have the scale zeroed out back to ounces we're gonna Put some coffee in here. Okay, then we're gonna weigh it. So it's um, 0.45 ounces, 12.8 grams. So it looks like it actually did uh, less coffee. Um, I think it's supposed to do about 15 so we're at about 13 there so that's pretty accurate next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> look 
at how high it's going up the side here, which is also a problem. And this one, I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually about nine millimeters. Okay. Now, problem is, I, I already can feel pressure here. So actually, it's never this bad that the other three times I tried this, I can't even put this in. As you can see, the shower screen has already imprinted itself into the top of the coffee here. So, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I really have to put a lot of force and I can't go past this point. So the last time I tried it like this, um, it came off during the brewing. So, um, I mean, the conclusion really at this point is that it just doesn't work. And in fact, I have stopped using it after only about three times. So in conclusion, um, this is unusable um, for the Oracle machine here. Um, again, I don't know if I already mentioned this or not, but um, the picture on their website versus this is completely different. So I've asked them to, I've asked support to let me know whether they ship in the wrong part or not, but uh, this doesn't work here. So um, one good thing that came out of this experiment, I guess, is the fact that uh, I've ascertained the fact that the coffee grinder does deposit less coffee. So it is based on how much goes into the filter. So if they ever design, um, a filter that actually allows the um, uh, porta filter to go into the machine, then uh, this might actually be usable. So I will uh, post an update to this if they uh, confirm that this is in fact the wrong filter and perhaps I get to buy the right filter and we'll see what happens then. Thanks.